Our Lord in the Gospel of this Sunday speaks about the hypocrisy of the Pharisees who were questioning Jesus why he let his disciples eat their food without washing their hands, as if that was something critical to uh, observing God's law, but it was really just human tradition that was uh, developed with the Pharisees. So we're talking about hypocrisy, and our Lord says, this people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Our Lord's looking at our hearts, what our intentions are, what we love, not the superficial things about washing hands and doing external things that can really hide what's in our heart. You know, we can be superficial. This is what our Lord doesn't want. He wants us to be men and women from the heart, living, having true substance to our Christian faith, which involves love and obedience and a will. These things go deep, go deep. Our Lord's looking for that kind of thing, that kind of deep love for him and obedience and commitment to his service. And we develop that, of course, through, through prayer, through reflection and meditation and through effort and striving to do God's will diligently, strongly, with all our heart. These are the things that take real depth and strength, strength of, uh, of our service to God, to, get, to be strong like a tree, a tra tall and big uh, tree that doesn't, doesn't get blown over even in hurricane weather. It's because their roots are really deep. And this is what we should be thinking about, how to sink our roots real deep, our love for God and total commitment to God takes real deep roots. And we get that only through the means of grace, which are prayer and the sacraments and Holy Mass. These are the things we need to focus on, sinking our roots deep, by praying well, praying significantly, quality prayer, and doing everything from the heart, from the heart. God, is what, God looks at the heart, and the heart is what we should be nurturing, fostering, growing, and deepening. <clears throat> Not these superficial things which are passing and the will of the wisp, you know, uh, clouds of... Clouds of uh, our external behavior that just come and go, and it's all just fake and phony. That's what a hypocrite is, someone who pretends to be something he's not, someone who just does things for other people to see. And if we do hypocritical things so much in regard to religion, we can become a fanatic. Fanatics are really hypocrites to, a, to an extreme. They just do everything for other people to to see, and maybe even the devil gets in there and talks to them and gives them visions and dreams, and then they become real fanatics and really make a mockery of our Catholic faith. That's what hypocrisy can do. It can just really turn our faith upside down and, and really turn people away from our Catholic faith. But our Catholic faith is so deep and rich and, and strong that if we hold on to it, embrace it, and live it, fully with all our life, all our heart, we can, you know, just, just um, perform, uh, perform so many good works for people to see and so many profound uh, actions of, of charity for the world, build so many things for the kingdom of God here on earth and for, for our, 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 our Lord's kingdom. We can do so many good things with, the, with our Catholic faith it's not so much us, it's God, of course. God working in us. God performing these things through us because of our cooperation, because of our prayer life, because of our humility and allowing God to work through us and not letting pride take over us. Pride is always trying to make other people think that we're holy and good and virtuous and advancing ourselves, and that feeds hypocrisy. That feeds this kind of phony life, superficial life, doing everything in an external way. And, you know, with our Catholic faith, it's not hard to do that because our Catholic faith is made up of external and internal things. And that's the beauty of our faith. We're both external and internal. We have a body 
and we have a heart and a soul, and we have to use both, both of them. But the pitfall is that we can just use our body. We can just make signs of the cross, finger our rosary, be physically present at Mass, do these, you know, go on processions and go and visit these sites of apparitions and, and do all these external things, you know, and get caught up in that and think that's everything. And, you know, just go from one thing to another and just be caught up in a superficial life. We can do that even with our holy Catholic faith. You know, even as a friar, as even as religious, we can be caught up in the externals. You know, I got my habit. I got my routine. I got my schedule to follow, and I just get caught up in it, and I am, this is my career, and I'm all settled, and I got everything provided for me, and it's just an exterior, superficial life that we have to answer for. Instead, we need to live from the heart. We need to live from the heart, we need to live all these external things from the heart. These external things are good and holy and helpful, but we have to put the heart and soul into it, the substance, the substance of our heart and our obedience to our, our duties, our schedule, our, the commandments of God, obedience, that will, obedience out of love for God, doing this all to please God, to make God happy and pleased to let him exercise his dominion over the world and our life and our family and our, our society. Let him do everything in us. We're just that little mustard seed, that little grain of wheat. We're only this little thing, this little ant, you know, walking this earth. And God is performing great things through us because of our littleness, which we have to maintain, be humble, and stay, stay that way and let God do great things. But in our littleness, we can have a big heart. We can have a big heart that God just pours forth his grace there and does great things through us because of our willingness, our cooperation, our docility, our prayers, our, our efforts, our striving to be holy and to do what God wants us to do. And this is substance. This is the interior life. We need to foster especially the interior life of grace and be real, be genuine, be true, blue, Catholics, Christians, lovers of God. We need to be genuine, authentic. And that takes depth. That takes roots. That takes real, a real prayer life, a real striving and effort to live the life of the heart and love for God. Love is genuine. Love is deep and sacrificial and generous, and that's what we need to foster. And we need to look at the, the pitfalls. We need to look at the superficial things that we do, and we need to correct them and, and uh, you know, turn them into substance, turn them to, into strength and reality, and not pretend and fake and be phony and, and try to make people think that we are something we're not. We need to be real and real genuine Christians and real lovers of God and lovers of, of our, our neighbor. And so this is what we need to seek out and not be like the Pharisees, not be like the, you know, the, the uh, typical politician who might, who might just try to deceive the people and make them think that they are what they're not and just this fanfare and this, these words, but live life of, of our deeds and a genuine, true, obedience to God's commandments and reaching out to do really good for the world and to reach out to foster the kingdom of God. So we entrust this, this intention, our resolutions to Our Lady to make us real Christians, real Catholics, real genuine men of, of substance, of love of God and, and neighbor and to live a, live a holy life, to live a, a, a masterpiece uh, of God's work in us through, through uh, our, Lady's, our Lady's working in our soul and trusting everything to her and working hard, being those busy bees, those busy ants that we are and letting Our Lady do everything through us with our cooperation. <laughs> Thank you.